Application of Lenz's Law A magnet is placed near a metal loop as shown in figure. So we have this magnet placed near this loop of wire. Part A, find the direction of the induced current in the loop when the magnet is pushed toward the loop and in part B when the magnet is pulled away from the loop. So this loop of wire feels the magnetic flux due to this bar magnet. And remember that the magnetic field lines point from the north pole towards the south pole uh, on the bar magnet, outside the bar magnet and also inside. And therefore we see that there is a magnetic flux to the right, pointing to the right on this loop. Now, if this bar magnet is approaching this loop, uh, th that implies that this magnetic flux pointing to the right is increasing. So there should be an induced current which will be opposing this increasing flux. And that is found using the right hand rule. If the four fingers curl in the direction of this suggested current, you see that the magnetic flux according to uh, this induced current inside the loop will be pointing to the left. Therefore, it will be opposing the increasing flux. So when the magnet is moved toward the stationary conducting loop, a current is induced in the direction shown so that the magnetic field lines are due to the bar magnet. Uh, increasing the flux due to the bar magnet will be opposed by the induced uh, flux due to this current. Now, this induced current produces its own magnetic field lines. As you can see here, the magnetic field lines created by this current are in pointing to the left and whereas the flux due to the approaching bar magnet is pointing to the right. So this counteracts the increasing external flux due to this approaching bar magnet. Now in part B, when the bar magnet is moving away from this uh, loop of wire, the flux pointing to the right is decreasing. So therefore, there should be an induced current which produces magnetic field lines pointing to the right. And if you follow the direction of this current with the four fingers of your right hand, we see that the thumb points to the right, which means this current direction will be producing a magnetic field pointing to the right. So when the magnet is moved away from the stationary conducting loop, a current is induced in the sh direction shown and the magnetic field lines created by this current will be pointing to the right. This induced current produces a magnetic field directed to the right and counteracts the decreasing external flux to the right due to the bar magnet which is moving away from this loop of wire. Okay, so we have seen an application of Lenz's law. Basically, there is an induced current in this loop of wire uh, so that the magnetic field produced by this current opposes the change in the magnetic flux in the wire. If the bar magnet is approaching this loop of wire, the magnetic flux pointing to the right is increasing. Therefore, this induces a current creating magnetic field lines pointing to the left which opposes the increasing flux to the right. If the bar magnet is moving away from this loop of wire, the flux to the right is decreasing. Therefore, a current must be induced, creating magnetic field lines pointing to the right, opposing the decreasing flux to the right.